All right, this problem is from the weeks 9, 10, 11 sections, problem number two. Uh, in this section, all we're doing is, or the beginning of it, we're looking at z-scores. So we're looking at the standard normal distribution and trying to find probabilities that a z-score will be uh, less than or equal to z equals 0.39. All right, now remember, your calculator has a built-in um, feature for handling this and it's the under the distribution menu DISTR so second DISTR and we come down to the normal CDF feature All right, normal CDF um, the normal stands for the normal distribution and that's what we need to use to find these probabilities alright now uh, we have the option of putting in two things or four things in here for the normal CDF if we only put in two we're putting in a lower number and an upper number and that's the Z distribution. So we're going to put in uh, a lower number where this shading starts. This shading starts well to the left. Remember the Z distribution, standard normal distribution, goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, really. So we can pick any number we want to, but negative 10 is plenty uh, far enough away. Remember 99.7 of the Z scores, possible Z values, fall between negative 3 down here and positive 3. So negative 10 would be way over here. So that's plenty big or plenty small for the, the first number. And it's going to end at 0 0.39. So we're going to put in 0 0.39 and close it off. Hit enter. 0 0.65173. They want us to take it to four decimal places as needed. So there's the fourth decimal place, 7. The next one is a 3. So we're going to round it to 0 0.65173. So 0.6517. All right. Uh, problem number five, a similar problem. Uh, it says, assume if thermometer recordings are normally distributed with a mean of zero, standard deviation of one. So this is the exact same thing as a standard normal distribution. They're just giving it uh, some type of an application. Um, we want to find the probability that we get between a 0.5 and 1.75 the same distribution. So this is a, norm, a standard normal distribution even though it is technically a uh, an applied problem but we're still using the same features. Normal CDF uh, lower number is 0.5 our upper number is 1.75 alright and we close it off there's our probability 0.2684 or five the four decimal places now uh, this one is asking us to draw a sketch so between those two numbers uh, there's the lower number there's the upper number but none of them have between those two except for this one part C so check our answer it's good and then it wants the probability and that's what we just found here so the probability is 0.2685 again they want the four decimal places so 0.2685 all right, and then another one that's similar to this is six, except in uh, six it wants between a negative z-square and then this positive z-score. So that's again this one. All right, check answer, good. And then the probability we're between those two numbers. So right, same distribution, it's just different uh, values this time. So we need to go to negative 1.28. Don't use the PDF. Negative 1.28, comma 1.83. All right, and there's our probability: 0.8661 to four decimal places. All right. So if you have any uh, questions about these types of problems just uh, send me an email or let me know in class all of them are similar to this when you see these Z's all you need is those first two numbers from the standard normal distribution if you're finding probabilities